Welcome to the online training course for integration specifically between the Tech Law Structures platform and Tech Law Structural Designer. Please note that this is an additional course and viewers should have already have seen the four parts of the Integration Fundamentals course, so that the basic principles are understood. Within this, the first of four course parts, we will inform you of the overview, and then the actual scope of integration between Tech Law Structural Designer and Tech Law Structures. The overview of the process is that models can be both imported and exported from the Tech Law Structures platform and Tech Law Structural Designer. This process can take place at any time, and both full models and part models can be communicated. After the initial model transfer, please note that changes can be made to either model at any time, and these amendments synchronize with the opposing model whenever required. Both Techless Structural Designer and Techless Structures contain tools for auditing and managing changes in the control of information. We will be demonstrating these tools and the overall process within this entire training course. We will attempt to show you the integration process and demonstrate how it works. We will explain the best advice available for both Tech Law Structures and Tech Law Structural Designer users for integration between the two programs. To reiterate the information specified in the Fundamentals course, the integration process requires both Tech Law Structural Designer and Tech Law Structures. The integration commands are available from the first commercially available release of the Tech Law Structural Designer software. However, the integration process requires a Tech Law Structures platform of version 21.0 or higher. Previous versions of the software are not available for integration with Tech Law Structural Designer. As also mentioned previously, the transfer process is through a single CXL format file, which contains all of the physical model data. There is no requirement for both Tech Law Structures and Tech Law Structural Designer to reside on the same machine, and the CXL files can simply be transferred between the two programs. For the software platform requirements, the commands used in Tech Law Structural Designer are hard-coded into the software. There is no additional software needed to either import or export a model to and from the Tech Law Structural Designer program. For Tech Law Structures version 21.0 only, the software requires the Tech Law Structural Designer Integrator macro to be installed. This macro can be downloaded directly from the Tech Law Warehouse site to provide the required functionality. If the macro has not been installed, then the Tech Law Structures user will be prompted of this when clicking on the command and a link to the warehouse will also be displayed. For subsequent versions of Tech Law Structures, the integration commands have been hard-coded into the base software. In order to communicate a viable model for analysis, it is important to ensure that Tech Law Structures part objects are modeled to correct positions. The position of items is based on the grip point location, however we will cover model connectivity in the second part of this training presentation. When integrating models between Tecla Structural Designer and Tecla Structures, you have total flexibility on where to begin the initial model. For instance, you could generate the model initially within Tecla Structural Designer. Run a code based design which determines the required section sizes, and then export the model to Tecla Structures, so that the BIM documentation can be produced. The alternative is to create the model initially within the Tecla Structures platform and at any point, export the model to Tecla Structural Designer, so that the relevant analytical information can be assigned, and a code-based design can be completed. One of the questions that we tend to have asked, is that users know that they can use either software to generate the original model, but which do we recommend? Our answer would be for connectivity reasons only, we would recommend that the initial model is generated in Tecla Structural Designer. It is virtually impossible to create an unconnected model within the Tecla Structural Designer software, which is all too easy to achieve in Tecla Structures if not enough care is taken during the initial model creation phase. Having said that though, there may be a requirement to generate the model initially in Tecla Structures due to external factors, such as project tender issue prior to any design phases. As long as the model has been correctly created with regards to connectivity, there is no reason why the process cannot start in Tecla Structures. When considering the scope of the integration process, please note that openings in slabs and walls are not currently transferred in either direction, 
although we are investigating the inclusion of these items for a later version of the software. When returning a model into Tecla Structural Designer with changes made from Tecla Structures, please remove the option to update openings for floor slab objects. This will ensure that openings are retained and not deleted during the merge process. Again when considering the scope of the integration process, there are some details to note about Westox sections. Westox sections are cellular beams manufactured principally for the UK construction market. These beam members will be imported into tech law structures but not exported. The reason is due to the very specific way of modeling within Tecla structures, where a plate girder is created, and then a macro generating the cellular openings is applied to the part itself. However to avoid these items from being removed on any merge processes within Tecla Structural Designer, we have specifically programmed that these items will be retained when importing changes back from Tecla Structures. This information completes the first part of the training. We will continue with the next session which covers connectivity